let's move on to CMS. And to do that, let's go over to the left and access CMS. And from the CMS, we're gonna create three collections. Our first collection, we can use any of these templates. We have a bunch of different templates. In this case, we're going to use the team members template. And the team members template comes with a number of collection fields by default. It comes with the name, profile picture, biography, bio summary, job title, email, phone number, Twitter link, Facebook link, has all of the fields we want for each of our team members. Now, we can add dummy content by default, but in this case, we're going to create an authentic new team member. This team member is Nicole Weiss, and Nicole has an image. We can just drop in that image from our business site assets. We'll go to profile pictures and grab Nicole's image, and Nicole's image dropped right in. Now, for bio, this is a rich text field, so we can really add any type of content. We've already prepared some content we can paste right in, so let's switch tabs and go to Google Docs and copy this content to the clipboard and paste it inside our bio rich text field. And that worked perfectly. Now, if you look carefully, our mouse left the window, came back in so that we could copy and paste additional content for that bio summary. Job title, of course, senior partner. We're going to move out again to copy and paste the email address. The phone number needs to be redacted. We've blurred that out. It is very sensitive. No one can ever see that phone number. We'll paste in, finally, the Twitter link and the Facebook link at the bottom. Those are each of the fields for this team member. We'll press Create Team Member. Now, for our team members, we prepared a CSV file, which we can import here. The CSV is really simple. It simply has, for each field, data for each of our team members. And that data gets imported right into Upload CSV. So let's hit continue because we do have a header in the CSV. And all we're doing here is we're mapping these imported items. We're mapping this data to the correct fields. As you can see, when we move left and right, we're previewing what data is coming in. So for team member name, we're going to map to an existing field, name. For the profile picture, we're going to map to an existing field, profile picture. Biography, same deal here. We're going to map to an existing field, and this field will choose that rich text field, the biography rich text field. Biography summary, same deal here. It's going to link up with bio summary. Job title, same deal here. It's going to link up with job title. Four more, this is email, which is going to map to the existing field of email. Phone number. Dale, while we're doing this, if you'd like to put up some type of visual trivia or... No, that's just the copy and paste. No, that's not even helpful. You can, you can get rid of that. It's just showing copy and paste keyboard shortcuts. Well, finally, as we map the final field, we can go ahead and preview everything in each item to the right. And by switching left and right, we can see the profile pictures, the names, the bios in action. And when we import, those eight items that we just set up will import. Of course, now we have all nine team members in our collection. Let's create another collection. This collection is going to be for practice areas. And we can type the collection URL. In this case, we're just doing practice hyphen areas. And we're going to add individual custom fields. By default, we have the name field, which is included. That'll be the practice area name. We'll use this plain text field to create a practice area summary. And the help text we type ends up showing up in the editor. The editor, of course, is where our clients, our space law firm, can later log in to add their own practice areas as they expand throughout the galaxy. So for each of these collection fields, we're simply following the same process. We're going in to add a new field. We're selecting the field type. We're entering the field label. Help text. Help text, again, is going to be a good indicator to differentiate. In this case, differentiating between the practice area description and a practice area summary. This rich text field is going to have a minimum count because we want it to be a full description, but no maximum. Now, as we wrap up that field and move on to the next field, we'll add our last field here. This is going to be for field type and image, and we'll label it image. Of course, help text for this one an image related to the practice area. Now, when we're done creating and setting up that collection, we can create our first practice area, time travel liability. For time travel liability, we're going to go out and copy and paste our practice area summary, our practice area description, which is rich text, and we'll insert our image. For our image, we're going to go to our business site assets and practice area images and grab the image for time travel liability. And once that image is in, we can simply create the practice area. Just like we did before, we're going to upload a CSV for the remaining practice areas so you don't have to watch us enter one by one. In this case, we'll route practice area to an existing field, name. 
we'll route practice area summary to, of course, practice area summary. We'll route practice area description to practice area description. And the image to, you guessed it, image. Before we import, we can take a look at the data. We can take a look at these item previews for each of our items to see how the data looks that's coming in from the CSV file. Of course, once we take a look at that, and once we're ready to go, we can import all of those items. Once they're imported, we can leave the CMS, except we're not going to because we have one more collection to create, and this collection is blog posts. For blog posts, we're going to use that template, but this time we're going to modify an existing template. We don't need, for instance, a thumbnail image for our design we're doing today, so we'll remove that thumbnail image. Same thing for color. We'll remove the field for color. Lastly, we'll remove featured so that we have just the core data points we're looking for. In this case, we're going to create a label, release date, and this is the time that we intend to actually release the blog post. When we're done, we can press create collection. Then once that collection's created, we can create our new blog post. We can type out the name of that blog post, and as we've become accustomed to this, we're going to be copying and pasting in data from off screen into each of these fields. In the case of the main image for the blog post, we'll go to our business site assets folder in our blog images folder and upload the correct image. For the final field, release date, we can type out our release date or use the calendar from the dropdown. Now, we'll round all this out by importing the CSV. The CSV, of course, formatted just like the other ones. We'll map each of these data types to the correct field. In this case, blog post summary is going to post summary. Blog post from that dropdown is going to post body. Image is going all the way down to main image, and release date is going to map to release date. Now, we like to make a habit of taking a look at these item previews. And the reason is we want to make sure we didn't miss anything in the field configuration. Once everything looks great, we can import the CSV. When that's done, we'll close out, and we've now properly configured three different collections. Three collections, one for team members, one for practice areas, and one for blog posts. Now, there's a lot we're going to do with this data in terms of design, but that is CMS setup.